Hello folks, this is John from John's Trading Shack over here at eBay. And right here I got a Victrola talking machine. Motor, brake assembly, crank, and record base. And it does work. Um, I didn't restore it or anything. I pulled all the old dirty grease off the motor. Added a little tiny oil to get the grease to the right consistency so where she'll run pretty good. Um, but you're probably going to want to take it and completely cl clean all the gunk and grease off and add new grease and oil But I'll show you that uh, It does work. It doesn't need much to get going and Please bear with me. I'm not the best video guy so All right So here we go. I got this thing to hold my camera. And I'll give it a couple cranks. I already cranked it up a little bit, but I'll give it a couple cranks. Put your record base on and show you some ad adjustments. Uh, this has some rust on it, so it's a little finicky. It's going to need a little work. But I got it on some plexiglass. break is off. You want to move that. Yeah, there we go. Break should be off. Okay. Give it a couple cranks. It's cranked up pretty tight, but we'll just, yeah, there we go. That's, that's fine. It's already cranked up pretty tight. All right. Now we'll adjust the speed control. go it should start moving there we go we got it on a kind of slow now the more we turn this screw towards the down the more faster it's going to go see I'm going down it's going faster see and you can see it moving she works Yeah, that's too fast. I don't. That'd be if you had a record in there. You'd be like, <laughs> let's get it. Try to get it the right. Try to get it the right speed. A record would probably go. Almost. Almost. I would say that'd be about the right speed. Right. And see, there's the motor. And I already pulled all the old dirty grease off of there. Um, let there's it's not completely restored or anything like that. I just pulled some grease off, added a little oil, and she's running pretty good. All right, so I'll stop it now, and I'll show you the brake assembly. It is rusted up. So when you spin this, it hits this lever, and she'll stop. So, that'll go up, and she's stopped now. Okay, set the phone down so I can pull this record base off. It's heavy. There you go. There's your brake assembly. And what you do is you have your tone arm up here and a reproducer and that's what grabs the sound and it's like big pipe that's the sound travels through into a speaker and that's how that's how it worked but this is all the parts and you can see the motor works and underneath it there's a sticker um let me get it let me uh i'll show you We don't need these blocks no more. There's the sticker. It's a Victor spring molar. 
motor 5435. So, and I'll give you a better look at this motor right here. Boy, she's dirty. Yeah, she needs some love. But she works. Alright guys, this is uh, John from Jones Trading Shack. And this is item 2818. And like I said, this whole item, it'll sit right into a Victrola record player case. And you guys have a nice day.